Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to move your OneDrive folder from your C drive to an external hard drive or another internal hard drive. So you can see here that my C drive on my Windows computer is completely full. We have one terabyte here, we only have three gigabytes left. And this is all down to the OneDrive. And that's because OneDrive is located in the C drive. And what I'd like to do is to move it to my G drive, which has plenty of space. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Now we're going to be following the Microsoft instructions, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description. So if you haven't subscribed, already then please consider subscribing it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do so the first thing that we need to do is to find the OneDrive application so it's normally going to be in the taskbar here or you can find it if you press the show hidden icon section here you're going to find this OneDrive icon if you can't find the icon there you can always click on the start menu and then type in OneDrive and that's going to show you where the app is so we're going to click on the OneDrive app then we're going to click on the settings icon here then we're going to go to settings and here we're going to click on the account tab so here what we need to do is to click unlink this PC. So I'm going to do this now and then we're going to unlink our account. Don't worry, we're going to relink it later. So you can see here OneDrive is signing out. We just have to wait for that to fully complete before we move on to the next step. So once we're ready, we're going to go to find our actual local OneDrive folder. So I'm going to open up File Explorer here. And if you don't have File Explorer on your bar, you can click on the Start menu and you can type in File Explorer and you'll find the application here. And then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down on the left sidebar and then click on OneDrive. So the problem with looking at it from here is that we can't see the full path. We wanna move the entire OneDrive. So what you wanna do is actually navigate through this through the C drive. So I'm gonna click on C here. Then we're gonna to go to the user folder. Then we're gonna find our account. And then I'm gonna scroll down and then here we've got the OneDrive folder here. So you can see here, my OneDrive folder is quite large. And what I wanna do is to move this. So I'm gonna right click on OneDrive and I'm gonna click cut. So cutting is similar to copying, but when we paste it, it's gonna move it from the C drive. So we don't want duplicates of our OneDrive. So now I'm gonna go and navigate to my other hard drive. So I wanna put it here on my G drive. This is gonna be the new location for OneDrive. So I'm gonna click on a blank space here. Here I'm gonna click paste. And my file explorer is moving this over. So I'm using TerraCopy to do this, but your file explorer will also do the move for you as well. So we're gonna let the move complete first before we do anything else. So now that the OneDrive folder has completely moved over, what we're gonna do is to open up OneDrive again. And what it's asking us to do is to sign in. So what I'm gonna do is to go ahead and sign into my Microsoft account. And now once I've signed in, it's gonna ask us crucially where our OneDrive folder is. So we've now moved this to a different location. So what we're gonna do is to click the change location button here. Then we're gonna go down to my G drive. I'm gonna find my OneDrive folder, which I moved over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on OneDrive here and then click select folder. Now saying that the OneDrive folder already exists, we know this already because we moved it, we're gonna press use this folder. So now that the new OneDrive folder has been selected, I'm gonna press next. And now it's gonna go ahead and let us know how to use OneDrive. We already know how to do this, but we're just gonna go through the menu and then click open my OneDrive folder. And now this entire folder is gonna go through a process of resynchronizing. So just let that complete and then you'll have moved your OneDrive folder to a different drive. Once all of the blue status icons have turned to green ticks, then this is gonna be complete. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.